Are you feeling frustrated, tired, overwhelmed? If so, we've got some tips and tools to get that all settled right after this. Hi, I'm Mary Jo Cranmore from Client Cycle Marketing and my co-host. I'm Freda Brown from Divorce Financial Services and we're here today with Women Business Owners Alliance and we are a nonprofit organization that helps women businesses to grow. And our guest speaker tonight today is Shelly Hines from Wellness Shines. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and you shine too when you talk about it. Ah, so thank tell you. us a little bit about your history and how long you've been doing this. Well, Mary Jo, I have been a holistic practitioner for 17 years and I came into the field through my own health challenges. And a gift was that Western medicine was unable to support me in the needs that I had at that time. And so I amassed myself with a whole group of people that could in a different way and using techniques and tools that were thousands of years old and it changed my life. I was so, so ill and I became well and vibrant and in the middle of my own healing I thought, people need to know this, somebody needs to tell them, why didn't anybody tell me? If I'd been told, it'd have been a different story. So I was very honored, bowed down, got on my knees, got real, real humble and, and started to study and then teach and help people. So I just said about being frustrated and tired mm. and overwhelmed. So give us a little tip or a tool that will help me get over being frustrated. I've had some frustrating days lately. Mm. What would you, mm -hmm. how would you, might, how might you help me? Sure. Well, what I do, the study that I, the field of study that I went under is, is Chinese medicine. So we're looking at the meridian systems, the energy systems in our body that are very similar to our blood system, our lymphatic system, but we just can't see them. We can actually touch them, palpate them, and understand them. So these are the points on the body that we work with. And we're now seeing this in Dana-Farber, acupuncture, mm -hmm. we're looking at acupressure, all of these different ways. We're actually seeing them turn a breech baby with a point on the baby toe. I mean, there's crazy stuff going on in science wow. and medicine and this, this culmination of the ancient and the new, which is really gorgeous. So one of the things I work with are those points along those tributaries, those meridian systems. And one point, which I find sometimes in the middle of the night, I wake up and I've got my finger in it, which is great. I can't is, wait. <laughs> is the middle of our hand. And the middle of our hand is actually a point that's connected to our heart meridian. And it runs right down the outside of that baby finger, comes right through the heart. And mm -hmm. people actually, through and, and then there's a second one that protects the heart through the middle. So this point actually calms the spirit mm -hmm. and clears the mind. So if you just take your hand, thumb and put it in the center of your mm -hmm. hand right now and just you can relax your hand and just take a breath. Hmm. Are we gonna fall asleep? <laughs> You, if you hold it long <laughs> enough, you can fall asleep and you'll wake up in the middle of the night with your hand there like I do. <laughs> and you just hold it? Is that it? You just, you just hold, hold it, it for okay. a few breaths, actually a few just subtle breaths. Because breath is the first thing, isn't it, that right. changes right. when we're under duress. I mean, we, we shorten our breath, we hold our breath, we pant, mm -hmm. we get... <laughs> and so, of course, we're mm -hmm. losing oxygen to our brain and our right. muscle groups, so our bodies feel tight, our brains get haywire, oh. and we actually get very confused. Which is why when we're angry, we can't talk because we, we disconnect, sure. we disconnect. So using this point is a really, really nice point just to relax ourselves and we can do it anywhere. So if we're in the middle of something, we can just, oh yes, I hear what you're saying, but we're holding, holding a point the and they don't know <laughs> we're holding don't a know point. Holding it. So that's a good one. I so, love that. I yeah. love that. What about overwhelm? Because that's, that's a different feeling for me altogether. Frustration and anger and, and that, but overwhelm is like... What do yeah. I do next? What do I do next? Oh, yeah. I can't even think. Great question. Yeah, the, see the thing about overwhelm is just the pot's over full, right? The pot's full. We fill ourselves up every day. We've got so much going yeah. on. We're doing so much all the time. We're, you know, we're just running. We wake up in the morning and we're running. So the first thing I would say is take some time to sit, to be still when you wake up and mm -hmm. find some space and time for yourself. It's so important, whether that means sitting in a bath or sitting humming or listening to some music or reading 10 minutes of inspirational work. I mean, these are great things to do. The other thing is a simple breath. And here's a breath, and this might sound really funny in my band, I, I sing also. So my band jokingly says to me, did you spring a leak when I do this? <laughs> um, because it's actually the sound, everything, all these meridian systems have sound, 
they have a taste, they have a season, they have a time mm. of day. I mean, that sounds really crazy and out there, but all of these things are connected because everything's mm -hmm. affecting us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The weather's affecting you, the Absolutely. environment, mm -hmm. the energy of people, what's happening in the stars, what's happening on the planet, all Absolutely. this stuff. So with overwhelm, again, the breath tightens, we constrict, and when we have more oxygen, we just feel better. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give a little game. We don't have to do 10 of them or anything, okay. but I usually do three of these. I have somebody take a breath in there. There's nice acupoints. Oops, sorry about that. Nice acupoints at the end of your collarbone down mm -hmm. about an inch right here. Okay. And usually if you go to the end of your collarbone and you go down, there's like a little soft spot. Right. And you can feel right. sometimes they're tender. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. those are good. You can always tell an acupoint because they're usually tender. Right. Um, so <laughs> those points are good to hold. So I would have someone like maybe hold both points or if it okay. was inappropriate because you're driving a car. <laughs> that's I could still do it. You could still do it. <laughs> <laughs> With your knee. Yeah. Trust me. I could still do it. <laughs> is, is actually to hold those points. And if you can't hold the points, that's fine. Yep. But what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in a full, nice, deep breath like you're filling a balloon. The bottom is getting nice and full. And then on the exhale, we're going to make the sound of a snake. Yes, mm. the words until it's gone, and we're going to do it a couple of times. So why don't you gals hold those points because my okay. thing's there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a nice deep breath. You can try this at home too. Take a nice deep breath in and hiss. And again. And hiss. I feel like I'm getting smaller as I'm doing <laughs> So just for fun, let's do one oh more. Oh my God. Let's do one more. And hiss. Are you guys doing this? Because this is awesome. <laughs> nice, isn't it? It is. It's lovely. So That's not all, fantastic. So here's what happens. The lower bronchioles, the part of the lungs, they actually relax and open with this sound. And so if you have bronchitis or you have asthma mm. or you're uptight, you can be driving in your car and you can hiss. And that, and three times is good. And you fill up and you hiss till there's nothing left. And when you're on that exhale, you're squeezing that belly, letting that air, like pulling right. up the diaphragm so the breath can really flow. Right, right. And in that, you're just going to come into your body. Because we're in here. When we're frustrated, when we're stressed, mm -hmm. we're up in here. We're not in our hearts. Mm -hmm. So if we can get into our body, we you just said, I feel like I'm getting yeah. I'm dropping. I was actually dropping feeling down. like I was getting smaller dropping or down. something. Yeah, yeah, nice. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> it's <pretty> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when we, when, we look at, when we look at the science of what we are, we're a bunch of subatomic particles right. moving. Exactly. That's what Einstein told us. That's exactly. not woo-woo, kids. No, that's, that that's is, factual. That is science. And so... When we look at that science and we think about it and we know that we're in the swimming sea of energy, everything mm -hmm. is energy, we need to ground ourselves because we are, we can get caught up into everybody's stuff. Right. And so how do we separate? Right. You know, how exactly. do we? Exactly. Yeah. So that's a great technique. I call that the hiss. Okay. Pretty easy to remember. Exactly. And then this is a heart point, mm -hmm. so a heart constrictor, but you can this just hold heart that point. heart point is a great one. Yeah, Very so those are a couple of things just to, to balance the emotional piece because sometimes we're trying to figure it out, right? We're trying to figure mm -hmm. out why do people do that? Why do they do that? Why do they say that? Why is the government doing that? Why are these children getting hurt? <laughs> what about the animals? And then all of a sudden we're like, ah, ah, how exactly. can I live? How can exactly. I do my work? How can I have relationships when I'm out of my mind? Uh, my mind. You know, it's very interesting. I um, have a friend, and this has also happened to me, uh, feeling unsupported. My back would go out. Totally. And... She had a similar kind of thing, and yes, I said to her, yes. are you feeling supported by the people around you? And she was like, no, I feel like I have to hold up the whole world That's myself. Right. That's right. right. So why she should join WBLA. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That it is go. an amazing organization, I have to say. Right, exactly. <laughs> so how, how would someone, um, when they have some kind of symptoms, how do they help themselves? I mean, regular medicine, go to the doctor, do what you need to do. Yes, but absolutely. And, I say and. Because and, exactly. it's integrative. Right. I want to just say the alternative Bad, bad. It's a bad it word in terms of it's, it's not against yeah. something or something other than it. It's the same. It's, it's the just same. a different viewpoint from it. But Absolutely. it's all coming to the same point. That's for sure. You ho you posted a um something on on Facebook. Then it said the six best doctors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I thought those were great. Can you share oh, those? Oh, wait, tell me. I don't well, we're talking about sleep. Right. Sleep is one, right? Mm -hmm. Having a good, healthy intake of food, mm -hmm. nutrients, right? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to look at your your relationships and what the healthy relationships are. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking at water. How important is water? We don't even think about that. Incredible. So I want to kind of stop in that and kind of get back into your question because the you know, again, we look at the hierarchy of needs, right? Mm -hmm. We look at, we need, first thing we need is air. If we don't have air, we die, right? right. Then right. if we don't have water, then if we don't have food. Correct. For me, the last one's fun. <laughs> you don't got fun, you got nothing. Because right. the whole point of life is to be in the bliss of this amazing experience. Yes, exactly. So finding our way to those things is hugely important. Mm -hmm. And and with, um, like, for example, water, you know, taking in a certain amount of water, Mm -hmm. Half our body weight in water, not mm. eight glasses a day. There's no pat answer. There's no specific. It's half your body weight in water right. is what you need to really hydrate and to keep things moving. So exactly. how many did we reach there? I don't know how many are met. That was four. Okay. Sun, <laughs> sun was one of them. Sun, sun right? absolutely sun. Sun. Yep. Yeah. When it came out today, I was just um, so excited. It changes After, us. It yeah. completely did. Vitamin D. We didn't even know in the Northeast we were missing it. We're oh. all walking around miserable wondering why. It's like, oh, hell, there's no sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. So just in terms of what the body needs, okay, mm -hmm. 16 vitamins a day. Mm -hmm. So people go, did you get your vitamins? Did you get your... That's important. But guess mm -hmm. what? 6D minerals. We're mm -hmm. new, we are not getting those in our foods anymore. Our, our foods are depleted. Our soils, even, you know, we really have to look at supplementing. The American Medical Association now says you have to supplement in terms to get everything the body needs. That's very so we got 16 vitamins, mm -hmm. 6D minerals, right. 22 amino acids. Then you have, a, you have essential fatty acids. We, we didn't even know about those omega-3s, did we, till maybe no, 10 years ago? Till, yeah, just a And how ago. important oils are for our brain. And everyone's saying, don't eat any fat. It's the worst thing on the planet to do. Your brain, Your brain has won't functions. Yeah. See? So yeah, it doesn't you, work. you need to have that. Butter, butter, butter is good. Oh, yeah. organic butter is the best. Can I have that? tattooed on a pillow. Good. <laughs> Organic <laughs> butter is the best. So um, now I'm getting lost again. So 16 vitamins, 60 minerals, 22 mm -hmm. amino acids, essential fatty acids, phytonutrients, which are plant nutrients. Okay. And then um, you're also getting your essential glyconutrients, which are particular sugars that our, our cells need to talk, water, mm -hmm. air, and sun. Right. Those are the things we need every single day, and we're just not getting them. And then we throw stress on top of that, and then we throw running on top of that, mm -hmm. and so we're not getting this deep sleep. People are, you know, what happens as we get older too is we make less, we make, uh, we basically don't make the hormones and the things our body mm -hmm. needs to make our brain go into that deep rejuvenative sleep. For sure. So that's Absolutely. a big issue for people, and if people are not getting into that, not even deep REM, but into what's called theta. Yeah. It's like a really, really an amazing healing deeply, deeply into the system. So how many hours of sleep is, is a good number of sleep? Or is it the type of or sleep? The, or is it, right, is it? It's absolute quali quality is true. Um, mm -hmm. But quantity is important also. I mean, for me, I know my body seven hours, I'm golden. Right. You okay. know, I can get up and do it at six, but I, I feel a little lo logy in the middle of the day. Okay. That's me. I, my husband can get up. And again, it depends on our constitution. My husband, yeah. if he gets up before five, he rocks the day. If he gets up at 6.30. It's not too much. No, sorry, baby. It's too much, it's, <laughs> it's just too, he's like into another cycle His then, right? Yeah, exactly, it's about cycles, everything having cycle, because we're part of nature. Really? Sure. We're not, it's not nature and then us. We are nature. We are nature. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up when the sun comes through my window. There you go, and that's perfect and that's just for you. And if it's it a rainy day, I don't want to get up. Yeah, <laughs> because it affects us, right? Right, for Because sure. that dampness affects us because we have mm. dampness in us. We have water, which is the fluids in our body. We have fire, which is the heat in our body. Mm -hmm. We have gas. You know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, that's space. And, and we have earth element, all these elements. Those are our bones, our structures, that heaviness. So when we exactly. have an imbalance of anything like that, mm -hmm. anything in nature that's the same as that has us resonate with it. Mm -hmm. So if I have a lot of dampness, let's say I'm in college, I live in a basement, I uh -huh. always get sinus infections. Yeah. 
That's dampness. That's dampness. And you're living in a damp environment. You're going to take antibiotics the rest of your life and have a really bad digestion oh, after that. Right. You're never going to get the cause right. of the problem solved. No. Get out of the basement. That's right. You're damp. And you need to dry yourself. So, okay, you can't get out of the basement. What can you do? Mm -hmm. You could put a dehumidifier in there. Mm -hmm. You could be eating warming foods to dry you because right. foods do different Fire. things. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the winter, we don't want to be eating raw, cold vegetables. We don't crave we them, soup. do we? No, we, we don't at all. Soup. Soup, right. Cooked foods, Cooked stews, foods. heavy nourishing. We want to mm -hmm. have those root vegetables, all the things exactly. that are actually coming to us. We're so used to buying bananas and, you know. Any time of year. Any time of year. A and, pineapple. And, and, and I always read someplace that you should eat things when they're in season. Well, that's when they're the best That is the for best you. way. Nope. And that's the Not truth. strawberries in January. Right. No, it's the truth. But we, right. we are spoiled because we have this, you know, huge international you know, yeah, um, they're in season change. someplace. Right? Yeah, somebody's growing them. <laughs> somebody's growing them. God knows how they're growing them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you got to be careful with that, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not because that's not our season for them to be. That's right. Our bodies are a certain way. I mean, where we where we are in our environment is very specific to mm -hmm. who we are. I mean, if we grew up down in Jamaica, we'd be we eat a lot of hot chilies and a lot of spicy foods, and mm -hmm. and the reason they do that. It's natural for them. They have more of an affinity for the hotter foods. And because when our body sweats, the air cools us. Air cools it's, us. The it's nature showing her best. It's like, go ahead, Absolutely. sweat it up and we'll cool you down. <laughs> you know, we did some traveling um, when I was coming mm -hmm. out of college. I went to Africa overland for four months. Wow, that's fantastic. It was amazing. And we'd stop in the middle of the desert, I'm not kidding you, and make a fire. No kidding. And have a pot of tea. Wow. Like we weren't sweating enough, but How that cool. was the hydration and that was the cooling and that's what we did. Exactly. And I was Very 23 going, huh? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> They're all going, look at, the natives are doing it. Pull over and start a fire, you know? Exactly. We well, do. you talked a lot. I mean, the whole um, thing about the vitamins and minerals, that's a lot of information. How can I, as just a you know regular person walking through life in a normal environment, how can I be sure I'm doing what's right for me? Do I have to like sit down, create a whole plan every single day, calendarize myself or do oh God, I? Oh no, I would never Right, that. exactly? That, <laughs> no. but that's a lot of information. It so is a how lot of information. I mean, well, the first thing I would say is don't be too myopic. Don't get all yeah. caught up in I have to have this. I mean, the fact is we're going to live, right? Sure. I mean, we drank out of hoses with lead when we were kids and we, and here know, we are. How did, <laughs> how did our group do that? You know, <laughs> we did a whole right. bunch of stuff and our bodies are amazing at healing and detoxifying ourselves. But supplementation yeah. is hugely important important and I think sometimes too if we're coming new to something getting a coach mm -hmm. what would we do if we wanted to be a basketball star we wouldn't right. just go out and shoot hoops we'd say okay hang on a second you need to watch what I'm doing and so coach you can me correct what I'm what I need so having a little support at the get-go and then being free and that's what happened for me I worked with a nutritionist a naturopath a high colon right. hydrotherapist I had a shiatsu practitioner which is what I do so cool and and it was body mind and spirit gotcha and so it's really you know more than anything, I think it's it's being aware. How do I feel when I do this? How do I feel when I eat that? How do I feel when I drink this much mm. or don't drink that much? Do I have muscle cramps? Am I getting headaches? Mm. You know, my husband has back issues and I'm saying, how's your hydration? How's your hydration? Right, exactly. Or did, not enough, well, don't tell me your back hurts. That's right. Then when it comes after the hydration, then I can say, I'll help you and I'll do some body work with you because you get just a little bit more and you'll be there. It's very so part of it is about knowing, un listening to your body. Perfect. And then, and, and if you want to categorize something, exactly. find out, you know, I have a headache today. What happened today that made me have that headache? Exactly. Or my boyfriend oh. gets stopped by a police officer on the highway and all of a sudden he had heartburn. I'm yeah. like, because right. that's burning you up, isn't yeah. it? Right. That's burning you up. And he was sure like, yes, it is. It is. Body, our <laughs> body is a messenger. Uh -huh. It's always sending messages. And, you know, instead of like when we're in pain, we shoot ourselves for a cortisol, which can be youth useful in some instances. The body is saying, please don't walk on me. Yeah, but then you don't feel <laughs> the you symptoms, just so you don't down. know what's going exactly. on, right? Exactly. Please be still. Please appreciate, respect me, and care for me, because guess what? This is carrying your spirit. Exactly. This is our temple. You know, the, the best thing we can do for ourselves is love ourselves by taking care of ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you can't and you don't know how to do it, get in touch with one of us. We can Thank help you. Shelley. you. Thank, Thank you, you Shelly. Very much. This has been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And if you want to hear more about Shelly and what, are, what she does, you can go on our, the WBOA website, find her smiling picture. We have a directory <laughs> of everybody and click on our website and see what's happening. It's so, a great group of women. And WBOA.org is the website to go to. Excellent. And I'm just going to leave Shelley. you with three thumbs. 
here, here, and here. You want a little extra energy. So we can just go out doing this, tapping okay. at the base of the collarbone. Oh, this is great if you're tired, into the thymus. And then these, <laughs> these points here. Underneath, Underneath our arms. Yay. Find them, they hurt. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. Enjoy, Thank everybody. You. Peace. That was fun. I love that. Excellent. <laughs>